Previously, I showed you how to machine out a chocolate mould using the area clearance. I'm going to go a little bit more advanced now and I'm going to use an upgrade module that we have called the Raise Round. So I'll just click here on Toolpaths and here we have the Raise Round toolpath. So I'll just select that and I'm going to tab it onto there. I'll just select all of my vectors and this is going to create a much better chocolate mould from 2D vector artwork. So I've got selected vectors and I'm going to cut this at 7mm deep. I can click here for width of selection which is 10.994 and this works out the actual side wall of this particular vector. What I'm going to do is just grab these handles. I can type in precise measurements here but I'm just going to grab these handles and move them so it creates a bit of a strange shape and I'm going to select a tool which is going to be a one and a half mil ball nose cutter and then click calculate now So there we have the finished toolpath for this particular raise round. I'll just close this dialog box and go to the 3D view. If I have a look then the side and just zoom in here just so you can see the toolpath. There it's created a 3D toolpath using 2D geometry. So if I just simulate this you can see what it's actually doing. and there it's created a chocolate mould. Just zoom in here, you can see it's kept the actual shape that I selected. So I'll just zoom back out and delete this simulation. Go back onto the 2D view and I'm going to right click on the raise round and edit it. This time I'm going to move these handlers just so they are like so just to show you what this gives and I'm going to calculate now so there we have the toolpaths for that particular raise round I'll close this and go back onto the 3D view have another look at the side and you can see it's created a little bit of a different shape there and I'm going to simulate that as well. I just rotate it round and zoom out so you can see. As you can see here, I'll just zoom in. As you can see here, it's created a nicer bottom face for the chocolate mould. I'll just zoom back out here and I'll delete this simulation. Go back onto my 2D view and finally I'm going to edit this toolpath again but I'm going to use set sizes. So I'm going to change the side angle to 2.5 degrees and the bottom angle to 2.5 degrees and then calculate that. So there we have the toolpath for that. I'm going to just close this dialog box and go into the 3D view. Have another look at the side. There you can see it's created a smaller angle there and rounded off into a smaller angle here. This has created a more uniform sort of shape and it's blending in better. So I'm just going to simulate this for you here and you will be able to see that this has created quite a nice chocolate mould. Just zoom in here, there's the finished chocolate mould.